All right, everybody. All right, now, let's, today, this is the Sea Island Morning Show. If you're just tuning in, we're so excited to be here. We love WOL 1450 AM. Uh, today, uh, this is Sea Island. I'm talking about how to discover your destiny, uh, your passion, your purpose in life. Before we went to break, or during the break, uh, a good question came up was, where did all this come, come about? Now, what's happening is, is that what we're noticing is this is the busiest time of the year in the beauty school because people are now deciding that, hey, my kids are gone off and now I want to discover a career. I want to do uh, my passion. Uh, it has always been in the beauty industry and now I want to uh, go forth. Listen to me. In my 20 years, uh, soon to be 20 years, what I've noticed, Alonzo, and this has happened over and over again, I've interviewed people who have said to me that my passion has always been doing hair, but my mother or father made me go to college. My passion has always been in the beauty industry, but I was deterred from my counselors in, in high school because they wanted me to go off to college. And oftentimes they have found themselves in places, in dead-end jobs. I'm not going to say no names, Rashida Franklin. And other people in dead-end jobs because their passion has always been the beauty industry. But because of the, neg the negative stereotype, when a lot of times people think about us in the beauty industry, they think we're stupid. Oh, they go to beauty school, barber school because they can't do anything else. They have no clue that we learn physiology, cells in the full system, chemistry, anatomy. Uh, we have to learn how to calculate. We have to learn how to own, operate business, all this kind of stuff from salon management to the cells, skin, and its disorders is in our book. The same thing that will be in a medical book, we have the same exact thing. Our book is just yay thick. They give us several books that we learn in, 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 in beauty school just as if we were in a major university, but people do not know that. People think that when you come into the Bennett Career Institute or any other beauty school, you're going you're gonna to learn all the latest styles, and you're going to play on the mannequin all day long, and then you're going to challenge yourself by learning how to cut and all of that. That is a small portion. One of the biggest portions not only is what we call theory in the morning is where we have to break down. You know, we have to break down what is sodium hydroxide. We break down sodium hydroxide. We got to break down everything to you. What is sodium hypochlorite? Nothing but household bleach, but we still got to be able to break that thing down to you so you can have an understanding of what is trichopitalosis. All of those things that we have to do in the beauty school is some of the sim similar things that you do in a major university. But listen, let's move forward. Many people came into the industry. Or many people wanted to be in, in the industry, but uh, for one reason or another, they were deterred uh, to, 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 to do something different. And now they stuck in the office doing something that they do not want to do. And I'm talking to you today. It's not just about the beauty industry, but whatever you feel like. Many of you are musicians. You sitting in a place where you don't want to be. What I'm telling you today is, and let's move forward, how are we going to break away from, how are we going to break away from what we're doing to get into what our true destiny is in life? The first thing I tell you is, some of you, if you do not know your passion, and you do not know your purpose, your destiny, then one, you want to start meditating. Until you start figuring out what is it for you to do. My questions I asked you, what flows naturally out of you? Where do you bring forth fruit and you produce good results? That means what do you do really good? When people say, oh, my God, is that means that you are a baker and you can bake really well. Well, then that's something that. But listen to me, though, everybody. I'm not telling you to walk off your job right now. Because that's that, that's stupid. I would never do that. I'm not telling you to just, you know, uh, I'm not telling you to just give up and just walk away. What I'm telling you is it is now time for you to put your, 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 your fruit into action. It's time for you to start producing. What does that mean, C. Island? That means if you are a good baker and you know that baking is what you need to do, then that means you need to go to some bookstores. You need to take some classes, some, some seminars. You need to figure out how you're going to produce and how you're going to uh, uh, mold your craft so you can be able to live sustainably outside of that nine-to-five job. So now it goes into your plan. What is your plan? 
Now that you meditated, you know that a musician is what you want to do. You know that uh, a baker is what you want to do. A songwriter is what you want to do. Then the question is, how are you going to get to that plan? Part of the problem that I have is most times when we realize what our real true passion is, we drop everything that we're doing, and then we start to suffer because we say, oh, well, I know this is my passion, my dream, but you got to face reality. You still have to eat. You still have to pay your bills. You still have to put lights. The lights got to cut on and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm telling you is then this is where you devise a plan. Your plan has to be while I'm working this good nine to five job that I really don't want to be on. Let me cultivate and let me start to grow what my passion is. That is when you need to put your thoughts into action. You need to get a plan. And then once you get a plan, everyone, you need to give it your all. That's when you need to go forth. This is where all this came about, Alonzo. On Saturday, I was sitting at the desk, and we had an instructor student who the spirit just told me she just did. She felt like she just didn't, didn't want to be here. She was just, she was just, she was just coming here. And then when I spoke with an instructor, you know, she was like, "I'm just here." So I called the girl to my desk and I said, well, well, tell me, why did you come to Bennett Career Institute? And she said to me, just to get out the house. She said, I've been doing hair since 1990 and I'm burnt out. I just want to get out the house. And I said, well, what is your passion? I don't know. What is your purpose in life? I don't know. She said to me, the only thing, Mr. Bennett, all the doors have been shut but doing hair. Hair is what I love to do, but I'm burnt. How can you help me? So then I sat there with her, and we did an exercise. We don't have that much time today because they only give me an hour. Talk to the radio station. But anyway, so I sat there, and I, I spent 30 minutes with her. And by the end of the 30 minutes, we discovered what her destiny was, what was her purpose in life. Because one of the questions that I asked her that I'm asking you, and that is, what can you do naturally? What can you do that you can stand on your feet all day and don't get paid for? These are things that you got to ask yourself. And some people may say, and I'm not here to judge. Some people may say, I can sit in front of the computer and fix computers all day. That is part, that's probably your passion. That's probably part of your destiny to be an IT person. Everybody doesn't have to be the big celebrity because some of us, we are in fantasy island. We sit back and we dream and we think that we want to be our name in lights and, and, and we want to have thousands of people from all that kind of stuff. But the question is going to be is what are you going to do to reach to that level? The reason why I like watching uh, the own network, uh, Oprah Winfrey. The reason why I like watching it, I love TV one too. But the reason why I like watching it is because uh, the the show that I like is the making of a network and see the different things that happen that people go through, and a lot of those things I can relate to with owning daycare centers and beauty school salons, all that kind of stuff. But what I'm telling you is your passion plus production equals performance. Let me say that again, and some of y'all need to write that down. I said your passion plus production equals performance. People who love what they do get the best results. That's the bottom line. When you love what you do, you get the best results. When you're in a situation where, and this is what saddens me, Alonzo, what saddens me is we have a lot of people who go from day to day, day to day, doing the same old things, and there is nothing going on. There's no passion. There's no, there's no, uh, I'm just here. I'm doing the same old thing. Sometimes, everybody, we have to be able to walk on water. Sometimes we got to get out there. Let me share this with you. I got, let me just share this. I was scared to death because I was in my mid-20s when I believed that it was God who told me to start the, the beauty business. I was scared to death because I said, who's going to listen to me? Almost all my students were older than me. I said, what am I going to do? Nobody's going to pay attention to me. So what I'm telling you is, is that part of your destiny, you know what you're supposed to do. Well, for those who do, once you figure it out, then you're going to start being afraid. You're going to get nervous. Am I going to fail? Is it going to work for me? All of that. But guess what? You never know until you try. The thing that I feel like if, you, if it's truly your destiny, it will work over time. But you got to position yourself. 
When we come back, I'm going to tell you the story. The Antoine Fisher guy, I don't know his uh, his real name. I found it on the commercial break. But I'm going to tell you how he got started because he positioned himself listening to his grandfather. The, 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 the main purpose for the show today is for you to stop living idle. Not only just in the beauty industry, but just in general. Let's get some purpose in our life. Why are we here? Let's make it count. We're going to step away again, everybody. And once we come back, our last segment, we have to go through a couple of things for you in reference to helping you find your destiny. And then I want you to email me and tell me if this show helped you in reaching your fullest potential. This is 1450 AM WOL, where information is power. This is the Sea Island Morning Show. We'll be back after these messages.